Here we are, um, we're going to have a look through all the jerseys, or some of the jerseys that I've played in through my, what was it, 13, 14 years at the club. Um, so we'll start with this one, this will be the, the first year that I was involved with Edinburgh. Um, first jersey, I didn't actually play that season, I played in a pre-season game, um, which is the first time I got to wear the, the club jersey, so it, it does have good memories. Um, that season I was on the bench a couple of times, didn't get on, um, but yeah, it was my, my academy year at the, at the club. This top means a lot to me. This is the first year that I broke, broke into to the Edinburgh, club, uh, Edinburgh first team. Um, I, from, from being a kid, watching the team at uh, Meadowbank, I used to come through um, when Henry Edwards was a coach from one of my best mates, Stuart, and we used to watch Edinburgh and all I wanted to do was play for Edinburgh. So this shirt was the first time I got to play for Edinburgh and then the start of a pretty special year for, for me and for the club. Um, getting to European semi-final, Heineken Cup semi-final against Ulster at the Aviva. Um, and obviously the most probably memorable moment from that year for me was playing for the first time at home against Cardiff in the first game of the season um, and then the big quarter-final against uh, Toulouse um, you know as a 21 year old playing his first season you know it was you know dream come true stuff so that's a, a special um, special jersey for me in my career. I had a tough time in my career probably around this kind of time um, it was a good thing and a bad thing I, um, I started the season pretty well. I got named as Scotland captain for the Autumn Test and broke my arm and it kind of triggered a, a, a period that you speak to anyone who's played a lot of professional rugby, they have a, a one, two year spell where they struggle for um, through injury. And then when I came back, I struggled for form. And that was probably around this time. Um, but it, it's a really important time that it, it kind of gives you that grounding and makes you appreciate, you know, probably these, there's maybe a jersey in between these, but this kind of time, I was just absolutely loving life, playing almost every week, and then you get that first kind of setback, and it really, you know, it, it is something to look back on as a, as a positive, um, as much as it, it necessarily wasn't the best time for me. I think this is when Cockers came in first year, um, we really, Transition from a struggling team, um, and and that was a, it was the start of I, I don't know I don't think we we necessarily made playoffs this year, but it, it was a big part in transitioning from a time where we'd struggled post kind of Challenge Cup final, and then that transitioning into what was um, the kind of rebranded Edinburgh time, which has a load of happy memories and a lot of big wins in, in the jersey for me. I um, think probably around here was was captain in, or co-captain in Edinburgh for the first time uh, with old mate Rambo and yeah this this top you know the first thing that I think of when when I see this top is Jimmy Johnson's try in Toulon. Um, it's just just what comes flooding back what an amazing memory that run in Europe that year, you know, that I think that was a lockdown season where we started the league really well uh, and we're in, I think we were first or second going into lockdown. Um, and that obviously changed the structure of the season massively, but it ended up in a, in a semi final When we came back from, from lockdown, we had a couple of really good wins against Glasgow. And then we went into that semi-final against Ulster. Again, is that bittersweet, like this jersey to me. I think around then, well, no, that game was my 150th game for Edinburgh. Um, and yeah, I, it, it has it has equal pride and pain. We've been talking about when we could get our own home and when, when you know, every year it was, you know, we we're going to look to try and move away from Murrayfield, we we're going to create our own identity. And, you know, our identity started to grow in this kind of period, but this is a symbol of, of us becoming, um, you know, a proper as as we stand today. I think we're in in the best position we've been with our own home, with a fan base that's 
that's as connected to the team and to the club as, as it's ever been. Um, and that season was another you know, a great season that, that ended ultimately in disappointment because we we wanted to to go further than we did. But you know, we had a, a great win on the on the last day of the season against Glasgow to, to make to make it into Europe again, uh, to Champions Cup, and to make the playoffs. Where we went over the Stormers and I think lost out narrowly. But again, special uh, memories and and a, and a successful first year at the Hive, which was, was obviously really important. Last season, it's more of a symbol of the 150 years of, of Edinburgh rugby. Um, so special to be, to be part of that historic year. Um, last year was obviously a bit of a, a, a disappointment compared to this year. Um, and that, you know, this jersey hurts because um, we lost to Glasgow. And, and there's some things in life that are more painful, but not many. Um, so yeah, that um, is again, not as positive. And this year, um, this jersey is obviously a symbol of what, what we could do. That's it's up to us, whether you speak to me in a few months time and I'll either say that, nah, that was a rubbish year or it, it was an amazing year, and that's that's the reality of sport. That's what we're that's where we're in the game of winning, and we don't put in the effort that we do to to have these you know quarterfinals misses or semi-final misses. So um, yeah, this this year's um, when I look at that top, it's exciting, and I'm just really excited to to play in a big game this weekend.